A very good afternoon, thanks for clicking on to the Friday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. First and foremost, I want to draw attention to the heavy snowfall that we've seen across parts of far northwestern uh, parts of uh, Russia near the Finnish border. Incredible snowfall really for the time of the year and uh, scenes uh, across parts of uh, the Murmansk area has seen several inches of snow, almost blizzard conditions in some parts with strong gusty winds combined with that heavy snowfall. But really quite impressive to see this uh, in early June. I don't know what the climate history for this area is, so exactly how unprecedented this is, I don't know. Um, I would imagine that this would be a part of the world that has seen snow at this time of the year, but certainly it could be um, one of the more impressive uh, winter-like events for this late in the season now, bear in mind we are into the early part of summer now. But uh, certainly I will post, uh, hopefully in a wee while, some images uh, of the snowfall across that uh, part of Europe. But uh, today we're talking about temperatures in the 26, 27 Celsius range, showers and thunderstorms um, for northern France as well as the southeast of England uh, affecting the tennis at Roland Garros. But it does look as if uh, the Atlantic pattern is going to become a little bit more lively as we push into particularly early next week. Now it's going to be a kind of breezy, cool uh, sunshine and shower regime through Saturday and Sunday. But it, it looks as if we are going to see a more potent area of low pressure. The first in quite some time in fact that will influence the UK. Particularly so uh, across Ireland and the northwestern half of the UK as we go into early next week. You can see here. Uh, not one, but two, even three areas of low pressure nearby, one of which is pushing into Scotland, the second falling close on its heels. And we could be talking about gale force winds and the wind-driven rain uh, during the day on Monday. So uh, a rather un-June-like um, day coming up uh, probably on Monday and the Tuesday as well uh, for a part of the country, a part of the continent that has seen some pretty decent summer-like weather in recent times. Uh, and th this looks to be, uh, you know, the first and second in a series of lows that will impact the UK through next week. We've got another system coming in during Thursday and then as we go into the Friday time period, uh, certainly the GFS has a very a significant area of low pressure for the time of the year. Very gusty southwesterly winds, potentially gale force winds, not just a along the coastline. If the model, of course, is correct, um, but uh, you know the modeling is indicating some pretty unseasonably deep, active areas of low pressure for the UK, and that's quite a contrast compared to what we've seen in uh, recent weeks. Of course, uh, good news in a sense for the, the you know the dry areas, but um, for certainly folks that are maybe taking an early summer holiday in the UK, it's not great news. How long this is going to last remains to be seen, but um, you know the model does indicate that we could be talking about the middle part of June before anything starts to clear away somewhat and we see high pressure building in once again. So an active weather pattern coming up, the Atlantic becoming much, much more dominant across the UK, Ireland and Western Europe. And we will also see things moderating over northwestern Russia, where it's been more like June, Urari, rather than June. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.